Howdy, my name is Chris Stanford, and I am presenting to you the Trekkies wheelchair exercise and clinical apparatus. Uh, this is uh, an apparatus that was developed over the last two and a half years with the assistance of the University of Texas Senior Engineering Design Projects. I've had two mechanical engineering design projects and two electrical engineering design projects, and both have intermingled to some degree so that electrical engineers have been providing mechanical engineering critiques and mechanical engineers have provided electrical engineering critiques. Um, the device first originated the concept as a simple lift mechanism for a chair. So a person would uh, back up to the chair, uh, back up to the device, and then utilize the camber bar of the device to raise themselves up. In raising themselves up on an incline, it forces their uh, chair into the rollers, which are horizontally placed, uh, thus securing. Try to do some movement, Kathy. Do move side to side. Move a little side to side. No, move some side to side. It's basically a secure uh, setting. You're only about an inch off the ground. Even if you fail, you're only going an inch. Uh, there's a slight uh, inclination, but it's negligible. Uh, we're rotating uh, weights, these are off-the-shelf weights, off the shelf. dumbbell weights, which approximate the inertial characteristics of a 200-pound man based upon the 6-inch uh, diameter rollers. We've done some dynamic analysis. Um, uh, they're placed in this current design, this is the uh, production model design. We're utilizing um, interlocking um, HDPE plates, this is a starboard material. It's cut with a CNC router and assembled, and then we're using uh, basic aluminum and steel components, nothing fancy. We're tying, currently, we're tying in the um, directional and speed information from quadrature encoders into a LabVIEW 6009 data acquisition card, which has I believe eight uh, analog inputs and two analog outputs and 12 digital I.O. and a counter. Uh, I'm currently using analog inputs and I will be using analog outputs. I'm also using counters. So I'm using everything on this little part. Uh, the goal is next semester to create a physiological monitoring of a person's effort and also create a virtual world which I they will be transported through either a need for speed or we'll create a virtual environment such as this auditorium where a person will navigate virtually and propel themselves uh, direction and speed and will quantify their uh, expenditure, both their force effort as well as their uh, cardiac output. I'm more interested in the aerobic activity of this rather than the strength training as, as of late. So any other questions? I think this is a simple device. It's the most basic device here. It's the least of the least. Okay. All right, thank you very much.